Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildred, and I will be your gaming monk for the evening. So, the question today is how do I deal with lone wolf characters? Between classical knight errants, the modern solo superhero, and various other examples, there's a great deal of romanticism surrounding the lone wolf, a character who relies on himself and himself alone, moving from place to place according to a complex internal logic, setting them apart from what's expected. Naturally, people who gravitated to these characters in other media would want to carry that over into their role-playing games, especially given their image of freedom and storytelling. Obviously, every GM is going to have their own take on this conundrum, but in this musing I'd like to delve into my own approach. The obvious problem is that a lone wolf is rooted firmly against the notions of group play and collaborative storytelling. After all, it's easy for a lone wolf character to be uncooperative with other party members under the guise of, I'm just playing my character. Personally, I believe even this idea can be salvaged with the right approach. Firstly, I think that explaining the campaign in detail is paramount. In the planning stages of a campaign, speaking for myself, I set up a primer that grants a bird's eye view of the setting, its tone, the game mechanics and or house rules used, and the expectations of the player characters. This is, of course, the first step. After that, I try and discuss with everyone the characters' ideas they'd like to try, and sometimes this involves bouncing ideas and suggestions to expand on those ideas. If, through this, one of the players still insists on being a lone wolf, I will ask them to present it in a way that still fits within the primer presented. Barring that, I'll allow them to play their lone wolf on the condition that they still cooperate with the rest of the party. This being one of the rare instances where I don't abide by my three strike rule. After all, the concept of a lone wolf who gradually learns to open up is a well-established trope in fiction. The idea of someone playing a lone wolf isn't inherently bad to that end, it's just one that can be utilized poorly. Nine times out of ten, there are no bad ideas, just bad implementation. 